Twitter's up nearly 20% this week on the news that Elon Musk is proceeding with the purchase of the company at 54.20 a share. Kevin, obviously you've been following all this, but you actually sold back in August. What's your take on what we're seeing right now? Uh, my assumption, my investment thesis as to why I didn't get back into Twitter was that it would be negotiated down, new price being around $35. That was my assumption. And my thinking was, if you pull the deal away from the stock, it's, it's, it's one of the poorly, most poorly run social media companies and probably the worst run company, it would go down to between 12 and 15 bucks. And that Musk would be able to, uh, through you know the threat of litigation, basically do the deal much less. And I don't know why he didn't do that. He didn't have to pay this ridiculous price because the world's corrected. He could have negotiated, but he's Elon. And you know I got a lot of respect for what he does. And I think this company needs new management. I think he should get the whacking stick out if he's going to own it and, and just clean house and start from scratch because it's, it's a horrible company. And it's, it, you know, Disney didn't buy it because of bots. Iger said that recently when he was qu questioned about it. They were going to try and drag him into court. It is full of bots. It's a poorly run company. And that should, if he's going to take it over, maybe he can get back his $44 billion. I don't think it's worth $10 billion. So that's why I sold it, and, but I missed out on an opportunity. Yeah, a lot of questions about uh, Jack Dorsey's potential role going forward. A lot of questions, period, when it comes to Twitter. We'll have to wait and see. Our David Faber said the deal could close at the end of this week or possibly even next week.